Steve Blaze Express bus stop is less than a minute's walk from his East Ottawa home. However, that convenience won't be of much use for a while yet. His express route is among the last scheduled to return to service, not until April 6th. People in the suburbs pay high property taxes. They pay a lot for their express passes every month. And if they can't get them back on the bus for another two or three months, I think there's going to be some, uh, some serious frustrations on the part of the taxpayers in the suburbs. The O train returned to the rails Monday, and some buses could be on the roads on Saturday. Main routes in the transit way are a priority. Service to the suburbs will take much longer. We will be able to put out service in, in, during the peak periods in the, uh, in the communities, in the suburban communities, so we will have buses to get people onto the transit way. Three express routes will begin running on February 23rd. Another nine will be up and running on March 16th, and the remainder will return on April 6th. This park and ride is empty now, but once the transit way reopens, it will be full. Orleans has the highest transit ridership in the city. There's concern there will be increased pressure at park and rides here and elsewhere in the capital. There will be a lot of people converging onto the park and rides. Last thing I want to hear from my constituents is that you're getting tickets over this. Knowing how competitive it will be to get a spot at the park and ride, some plan not to bother. Robert Perron says he will continue to drive downtown until his express bus returns. Most people that I've talked to that are taking the express bus are thinking of still driving in. So chances are this site will continue for the time being. Kate Eggins, CTV News.